Today I'm in East London, more specifically Silvertown, an area that's now being redeveloped into flats, but was once heavily industrial and filled with factories. One of them was a large chemical works run by Brunner Mond, now known as Tata Chemicals Europe. It was built roughly on this spot in 1893 and mainly produced soda crystals and caustic soda. In the early 1910s, the company began to reduce the amount of chemicals it manufactured, and so had unused space in its factory. That became useful after the First World War began in 1914, and Britain was later hit by a shell shortage. So the government put the factory to work. It was responsible for purifying TNT for use in munitions. The bosses of the factory were a bit uneasy about this. The site was in a crowded urban area surrounded by houses, flats and businesses, and the process of purifying TNT was extremely dangerous. As anyone who's ever played a Crash Bandicoot game knows, TNT is highly explosive. It was technically illegal to carry out what were called harmful trades within the boundary of London, but at this time Silvertown sat just outside the capital and was a part of Essex. The government was insistent, and eventually the factory gave in, and by September 1915 it was purifying around 10 tonnes of TNT a day. This seemed to be working fine, until just before 7pm on the 19th of January 1917, when a fire broke out inside the factory. Despite efforts to extinguish it, an explosion tore through the building, destroying it and the surrounding homes and businesses as well as St Barnabas's church and the local fire station. A story in the Stratford Express said at the time, the whole heavens were lit in awful splendour, a fiery glow seemed to have come over the dark and miserable January evening. Up to 70,000 buildings were damaged, about 900 of those were either completely destroyed or unsalvageable. The explosion was so huge it was said it could be heard as far away as Southampton and Norwich, and it was reported that it shattered some of the windows at the Savoy Hotel in central London. 73 people died, and more than 400 were injured. And it could have been a lot worse. Because the explosion occurred just before 7pm on a Friday night, most of the workers had left for the day, and people in the houses surrounding the factory were downstairs eating dinner or enjoying their evenings together rather than asleep upstairs. It was the upper floors of houses that saw the most damage. An investigation was launched and it found that the site was not suitable for the purification of TNT and that Brunner Mond had failed to protect the welfare of its staff. The full findings of the inquiry weren't published until the 1950s. The government also paid out millions of pounds in compensation to the families of the victims. While much of the surrounding area was cleaned up and rebuilt, the exact site of the explosion was left empty for decades. That was until around 2015 when work began on the Royal Wharf development. The only remaining proof of the explosion now is the Silvertown War Memorial, which commemorates Brunnermond workers who were killed in the First World War, as well as the people who died in the Silvertown explosion. <laughs> 